Before I start sharing this video, I feel like giving up in vlogging. I feel down and I don't think my outfits are good enough. I don't think I'd be a good vlogger and a content creator. The pressure is hard being like this. I don't think I can make it. I'm still far from being a good one. I'm too far from the success. But then, as I reviewed my gallery, I found this. Beautiful sceneries, colorful varieties of flowers, tall pine trees, cold weather, cinematic island views, quiet green grasses. A place that reminds me of a journey that I never thought would help me to continue on what I believe in. My journey to Kalinan, Subuku, and Misamis Oriental. Traveling for 23 minutes or about 11 kilometers from the Subukuga National Highway is a beautiful and cold mountain experience in the bundoks of Kaolayanan, a very small barangay with few residents living simply and harmoniously. As we went to Kaolayanan, we took one more extreme and exciting road. We took the shortcut. This is from Sarai of Salai Route going to Kaolayanan. We took this because it is much closer from the city where we came from than traveling 13 kilometers more to its municipality. Along the shortcut road, we need to take a lot of precautions. The road is not ideal for four wheels and city scooters and our unforgettable experience begins. Hubble Hubble drivers, including my cousin's poopers, an old chain or cadena, not for spare, but for the tires. As we rode up to the mountains, we stopped on a broken road and get the Hubble Hubble ready for the extreme ride. Drivers attached their chains into their tires and locked it up super tight. After that, we jump off again to Hubble Hubble and continue our journey. It was scary because the road wasn't that friendly and some got into accident just like this carabao that fell off. We even had to walk some road because we were afraid that we too might fall off from the hapal hapal. Yet then, we continue. We reached some beautiful landscapes, forest of trees, and no resident houses. I felt a bit scary from the rebellious people that might come out from this jungle. It was a mixed emotions actually of being scared but excited to see what's coming next. A stiff, bumpy road and muddy path. The foggy weather adds up struggles to the drivers and it blocks their visions to the road. Sooner I saw some people walking and kids staring. I finally see the heights of the mountains. I felt the blowing of cold air. We're on the top already. Reach to our Lola's property. I spent time walking around the farm. I was able to walk around the barangay and get to see their beautiful old houses and small park full of beautiful flowers and artful displays. People here are amazing and friendly. They are very polite and a bit curious of new people around their small village. I wish to talk to them, but for safety, a wave is enough for now. It is amazing being in the mountains sometimes. It gives us wide perspectives in life. 
It reminds us to keep climbing to see the most rewarding view of life, success, and achievement. <laughs> These are the results from our struggles and hard work. It reminds us to continue what we have started. Because we cannot experience the dreams that we imagine if we stop doing and building our ambitions. We have to keep moving. We have to believe that we can. But I pursue, continue, persevere. It is one of the hardest work that people are hard to do. But this is the only key for us to push through life, regardless of the circumstances. Sometimes we think of giving up and spend all our time overthinking. Instead of lifting ourselves up, we keep turning ourselves down and forget all the reason why we started. But I, let's continue to persevere and trust the process. Aim for progress, whatever it takes. Rest is good, and we need that when we are tired. But we should always remember that quitting is not an option to climb up the mountains. So then, keep climbing. But I, I am Kim, and this is Priority Journey.